According to the fifth national climate assessment, climate change is slowing agricultural productivity and increasing its vulnerability. This is due, in part, to increasing temperatures and changes in precipitation that can reduce the productivity and yield of many crops. However, USU scientists are currently investigating if it's possible to take beneficial microbes from certain plants and incorporate them into others to help make them more resilient. So like us humans, we have a microbiome in our body, on our surface, in our gut, which helps us. Same way the plants have their microbiome, either on the uh, part of the plant, uh, on uh, their surface or underground. And these microorganisms help plants with growth and development. So what we are doing, we are trying to find out what properties they have, how they are helping plant, and then develop as them as a biofertilizers. And in addition to potentially making plants more resilient to climate change, the researchers also hope to help reduce the need and reliance on traditional chemical fertilizers. We can see the use of chemical fertilizers, the random use, haphazard use, that leads towards desertification, that leads towards the reduction of organic matter in soil, and the soil will not be fit for agriculture anymore in the future. We are interested in sustainable agriculture. We want to use those microbes to replace the chemical fertilizers. The research is currently still in process, and the next phase is to work with farmers to implement select and successful microbes and bacteria into their fields and onto their crops to ground truth the process. But if successful, this could be a significant advancement towards sustainable agriculture. Being able to have microbes to be able to help with drought, help with water, help with the different nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, iron. It means that we're able to grow those in much worse environments, much worse conditions, and more sustainably than we have even in the past.